Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce dative prepositions. Since dative prepositions have a lot of different meanings that we need to discuss, this presentation will only look at the prepositions ab, through, gegenüber. In an earlier presentation, we saw that an accusative prepositional phrase has two parts. The first part was the preposition itself. The second part was the object of the preposition, which was in the accusative case. Here the object of durch, meaning through, is the noun phrase den Wald, the forest, with the definite article den indicating the accusative case. Dative prepositional phrases function in the same manner with the exception that they have a dative object. Here the object of aus, meaning out of, is dem Wald, with the definite article dem indicating the dative case. As with accusative prepositions, there is no reason why these prepositions take a dative object. They simply have to be memorized. Let's take a closer look at these prepositions now. The dative prepositions we will discuss in this video include ab, meaning from a certain point in time, or from a certain place, or starting on, aus, meaning coming out of, or made of, or from, ausa, meaning besides, or with the exception of, or out of, bei, meaning at, or near, or with, and gegenüber, meaning across from. The preposition ab can be used to indicate the point in time after which a certain activity starts. For example, ich wohne ab dem 1. Mai in Berlin. I am living in Berlin starting the 1st of May. In this and all following slides, I will indicate both the dative preposition and the object of this preposition, both of which make the dative prepositional phrase. The preposition aus is used to describe the material out of which an object is made or constructed. For example, der Stuhl ist aus gutem Holz. The chair is made of good wood. Here there is no definite article in the noun phrase, but the dative case is indicated by the strong adjective ending em. But aus can also be used to describe where a person comes from, as in ich komme aus Berlin, I come from Berlin. As we have seen at the beginning of this presentation, aus can also be used to describe the process of emerging out of a building or a location, or taking something out of an object. The preposition außer can be used to express exclusion or an exception, as in alle kommen außer mir, everyone is coming except me. The preposition can also be used idiomatically to express the concept of being out of something. For example, der Aufzug ist außer Betrieb, the elevator is out of order, and ich bin außer Atem, I am out of breath. The preposition by can be used to express being in the vicinity of something or near to it. You will see this frequently in place names. Wir wohnen in Bernau bei Berlin. We live in Bernau near Berlin. The preposition is used to express being at a person's place of residence or living with this person. For example, er lebt bei seiner Oma. He is living with his grandmother. When you want to express the idea that you purchase something at a certain store or place, you also must use buy as the preposition. Ich kaufe Briefmarken bei der Post. I am buying stamps at the post office. Finally, buy can be used to express that you work at a specific company or business. For example, sie arbeitet bei BMW. She works at BMW. The last preposition we will look at in this video is gegenüber, as in Ich wohne dem Bahnhof gegenüber. I live across from the train station. It is important to note that the placement of this preposition is unusual. It comes after the dative object instead of before it, like the other prepositions we have examined thus far. The next presentation will examine the dative prepositions mit, through, zu. The 5-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.